recently I've just started to watch like people vlogging and vlogs again so I got a little bit inspired to start vlogging again because my past few videos have been this month. <laughs> Oops, your girl also need to earn money and survive, okay? Yeah, working hard currently because I really want to save up to buy my own place. It's really like not cheap to buy a house in Singapore. So, we gotta hustle. Fellow Singaporeans, you feel me? When you're at the age that you need to adult, nobody warned you in advance that it's gonna be like that. Like, yo, MOE, you didn't tell me, like, how am I supposed to apply for a HDB? Please include it in your future syllabus. To be honest, like, I just found out you can only buy a HDB if, firstly, you're married, or secondly, you're above 35 and single. 35 is a long way from where I am, so I do not see myself being 35 and single. Hopefully, do not jinx it. And getting married, it's a huge deal, so don't we have more options? So I recently, I created um, my Miko Changmin Raw account. If you don't know what's that, please go and knock yourself out. It's my second Instagram account where I just post whatever rubbish. So my point of turning on the camera now, today, it's because I wanted to try out a new look. Okay, let me just tell you what's currently on my face, just in case if you're interested. So I tried out the new Urban Decay Lo-Fi. Uh, this is the lip mousse, but shit. Are you supposed to use it for your other parts of your face? This is on my cheek today and didn't know it was so pigmented. This is what it looks like, right? What I did earlier today was that I was like, that, 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 mm? no color, like, where's the color? Kampu tao! So I was like, okay, never mind, let me try it on my face. So this is my face and I went like, pop, 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 pop. I was like, shit! <laughs> it was so, so dark. If you're into this red flushed look, that blusher is. So what I wanted to do with this um, Kat Von D Inkwell Eyeliner in White Out. So I was packing my room a little bit yesterday and I realised that I got this whole bag of Kat Von D liners in all different colours. And I was like, ding, idea! I've been seeing all these pictures on Instagram, like this. Since it's the end of the day, I am allowed to mess up my makeup. Slightly nervous because I've not done this before. It feels like correction fluid. Oh my god, it does smell like correction fluid on your eyes. Is this safe? It's a liner, right? Eyeliner, matte. Oh my god, that's too much. <gasps> Shit, it dries them fast. Not good, not, not a good look. This is not working out because number one, it dries really quickly. Number two, the tip doesn't really pick up much product. So once you draw maybe like 1cm of a line, it fades away and then your line gets crooked. You need to go back and forth dipping, dipping many, many times. And that just like kills my vibe. Okay, Asian eyes problem is that when you open, you can't see anything. Close is something but when you open, wow. <laughs> In case any of you are wondering what's that, it's actually my attempt of drawing a snowflake. Another product that I wanted to play around with is this Vice Special Effects one from Urban Decay. I got it at their event or something. So this one is in third degree and it's just a really nice looking shimmery gold. Let's go to town with this! The gold flakes aren't as pigmented as I thought it would be So I need a few coats to make it like BAM! Gold! Thick! Opaque! But it's not super sparkly, it's more like a metallic pen You know, just a little bit of shimmer This is just a makeup experimentation session and I thought I'd just show you my trial and errors because nobody's perfect Talking about perfection I thought I should address like some of my insecurities that have been bugging me for a while since um, we are doing it raw and we are coming clean. I'm not sure whether you can take me seriously with all this going on but you just have to. So sometimes things that hinder me from turning on the camera and talking to the camera is actually like number one, my voice. Because since young people have been telling me that oh you sound like that, oh is that your real voice? Oh. Why do you sound like that? Like, why do you talk like that? Answer is, um, I don't know. Honestly, I was unaware that I sounded like a freaking Tweety Bird until 
somewhere in the middle of secondary school when I heard my own voice recording for the first time and it freaked the fork out of me because I never knew I actually sounded like that and recently I was just looking back at my old videos maybe like was it four or five years ago I sounded so horrible maybe five years forward when I look at this video I will cringe and die and vomit blood because I would think I now too sound horrible so I feel like 2019 should be more of embracing yourself embracing your insecurities and learning to love what you have for those of you who are on my channel I'm thankful for those who appreciate my voice and have not left or closed the tab because you find it irritating or annoying also another thing is that as a Singaporean we do not really have an accent or slang we just sound Singaporean la right just learning how to embrace what i sound like genuinely and not be bothered by what other people think i think that it's important gonna go shower hey i'm actually gonna be trying these new glutinous rice balls i saw them online and i thought like okay it's really interesting because the flavor is new sha pao flavor egg custard uh these are the new flavors so i had to go down to the supermarket to get them they were sold out online i dragged james along to go buy these with me earlier and when i was getting the liu sha pao flavor uh, i also saw the coconut flavor which is also new very excited yes i'll be cooking this i just have a candle on at the side because somebody just made fish in the kitchen and it stinks Ooh. i can see like a bit of yellowish feeling on the inside so the filling tastes a little bit like salty not exactly the same as the pao kind but it's still pretty young watching yen si kong so this one is exactly like uh, onde onde because inside is coconut and a bit of gula malaka okay i am the i want you guys session it wasn't what i expected guys is that muscles i see what yeah so the session was really fun actually because we got to eat ice cream and at the same time work out i got to try all three new flavors of the hey focus three new flavors of the ben and jerry's uh is it low fat or low calorie ice cream it's such a great alternative option because you feel less guilty eating ice cream but it still equally tastes as great I look a bit bald with my braided hair so I'm gonna put my ponytail in the front Right now, I have to go run some errands in town I have to go swap my pillow out for a smaller one because they gave me a L size pillow but I think I am an S size Yeah, I've been getting a bit of sleep discomfort lately Did my radio just start playing? What the shit? <laughs> um, let me turn it off so you can hear me This weekend is actually pretty happening for me As in tomorrow is pretty happening Today was quite happening also um, I'm not sure whether I want to take you guys with me Because I might forget to vlog But as you can see right now I'm trying to make an effort to bring my camera along uh, Tomorrow we have 3 events and 1 wedding So excited because the wedding is Aaron and Jenny's finally getting married They have been dating for so long And we know each other for a really long time too They are the cutest And I can't wait to see them officially get married And get drunk 
<laughs> yep, so swapped my pillow out. Uh, this is the S size one. It's slightly thinner, actually half the size of my previous pillow. I hope this will feel good tonight when I sleep on it. It's the side sleeper. The guy at the pillow place told me something that I never knew before and that is that I have a not so curved neck. Oh bummer because maybe that is the reason why I've been getting like neck aches and upper back aches and okay now that he pointed it out it's quite obvious to me and it's bugging me. Okay my neck is is too straight for my own good. Should be like a bit more curved naturally. Hola Now what? Oh, it sucks to be me, eh? Today, we are having a chocolate tasting at Godiva. This is my first time trying their ice cream. I'm super excited. I got the super duper dark one. Let's try it. Wow, this is legit. And James got his vanilla cone and he's gonna try it now. Actually, he tried it already now. I like it. It's very milky. 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 At Janice's and Aaron's wedding. We have all their friends and family gathering here for their special night tonight. We are at the friends table, obviously. The sexy crowd! We got us today! Oh, How was today? Okay. It was okay. It was really, really, it's pretty, it's actually pretty chill. Very, very chill. Even for the game crash, it was like okay. okay <laughs> Don't say that. It was very, it was very difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> After MC for two days, today I'm shooting with a photographer called Intrig. Yep, there he is. <laughs> we have this whole space to do our shoot today. This place is called Lao Ti Fang. Not sure whether you guys can see it, but it's a pretty chill area. There's like Nintendo Switch over there. There's like games room, pool table, etc. It's newly opened, so not a lot of people know about it. Um, you've seen it first on Nico Chakri. I just came back from my shoot. It was pretty fun. Um, I think the pictures will turn out nice. Right now, the weather is really gloomy and I'm still feeling a bit under the weather from my two days MC. I'm thinking whether I should make it two and a half days or something. But there is work to be done. I need to get my unboxing done because it's majorly overdue. I have so many parcels. What else? Changed into my comfy attire. Let's just get work done first and then we'll think about resting. you guys do enjoy watching unboxing videos because I know people sometimes do enjoy it and sometimes they just skip so let me know and another thing a uh, talking point so today on Instagram I posted uh, what is anxiety and the reason why I posted that is because I've seen a lot of people talk about anxiety or talk about experiencing anxiety but I'm not really sure what is it or I'm not even sure whether I'm experiencing it or going through it or have even experienced anxiety before it's so it's so vague because it's not like a cough or flu you have symptoms i don't know like how do i know that i have anxiety or i don't have anxiety 